267 senior officers at the rank of major to Colonel Oyasin of yesterday from Bombo. They are part of Batch 12. So far, 11 batches have been seen of since 2014, and in total, they are 9,026 officers and militants retired or discharged. This time around, for Batch 12, the plan was to retire or discharge 2,539 personnel involving 75 general officers, 429 senior officers, 275 junior officers, and 1,760 militants. But due to budgetary limitations, Your Excellency, the number was reduced tremendously to only 316 officers. Your Excellency, resistance officer number 00031, General David Sejusa, was born on the 13th November of 1954 to late Canon Simon P. Wajojo and Mrs. Tabisa Vujangara Wajojo of Kaibona, Nyambirizi, Maogla, Sembabule District. He attended law school and was awarded a bachelor's degree of laws a Master of Laws degree from Macquarie University and did a postgraduate bar course which he left after clerkship. He also pursued a certificate in Information and Computer Technology of Baksha Corporation Canada. General David Sejisa was enlisted into the Army on 10 February 1980, commissioned on 30th December 1980, and has served through ranks to full general. He has undergone several military training courses that include, but not limited, to the following. Is none other than resistance officer number 00087, Lieutenant General John Mugume. Lieutenant General John Mugume was born on 13th of February 1958, to late Mr. James Kamshana and Mrs. Zelda Kamshana of Ntungamo District. He attended several schools before joining Macquarie University for a diploma in social studies. He enlisted into the Army on 1st January 1978, commissioned on 1st August 1985, and has served through the ranks to Lieutenant General. He has undergone several military training courses that include, but not limited, to the following. Joint Tactical Command Course, Higher Command Course, Legal Considerations for Military and Peacekeeping Operations Course, African Strategic Studies Course, and National Defense College. Over the years, Lieutenant General John Mugume has held several command and staff appointments, including the following. Commander of 5D, Commander Military Police, Brigade, Defense Advisor of Tanzania, and Gen Manager, Uganda Amesho. Lieutenant General John Mugume has achieved a number of decorations and awards that include National Independence Medal, Royal Triangle Medal, Resort Star Medal, and Matava. Lieutenant Star General Crossen Naroiso was born on the 1st of June 1954 to Mr. Yusuf Ntambi and Mrs. Solome Nabionga of Katutu Mukono District. She attended several schools before she achieved a certificate in typing. She enlisted into the Army on 10 February 1982, commissioned on 6 February 1988, and has served through ranks to Lieutenant General. She did officer's base course at Bombay Military Academy. Over the years, Lieutenant General Pro Senaloiso has held several command and staff appointments. She is currently serving as the Senior Presidential Advisor on Security defense. Previously, she commanded the women wing of the National Resistance Army UPDO. Lieutenant General Prosen Aroiso has achieved a number of decorations or awards, which include and, and General Staff College. Over the years, Lieutenant General Andrew Guti has held several command and staff appointments. 
Brigade Commander, Division Commander, Chief of Operations and Training, Commandant Kabamba Training School, Post Commander Amsom, Chairman General Court Marshal, and Commandant Senior Commander and Staff College. Lieutenant General Andrew Guti has achieved a number of decorations awards, which include Amsom Medal, National Independence Medal, Royal Triangle Medal, Legion of Merit Medal, and Renzold Star Medal. Lieutenant General Andrew Guti is a family man and blessed with children. Your Excellency, I now present Lieutenant General Andrew Guti for receipt of the Certificate of Service, Certificate of Recognition, and a souvenir. In greater and more urgent, so much has been achieved, and a lot is yet to be achieved. We have, like is the case everywhere, new challenges, some are existential. I pray that the leadership, God gives it wisdom to navigate these hardships. Therefore, continue training, take, take, use the opportunities being provided. Make sure that you deepen your ideological horizons, but above all, love your nation and honor the people of Uganda, always. They are special people. Conclusion, Mr. President, sir. Your Excellency and dear comrades, there is no greater honor than to serve the people. Those who choose to die in service of fellow men and women, to sacrifice for the higher goals and ideals, and in effect the service of God, for God is his people, I salute you. I thank God for this day, for enabling us to travel this road together, for the victories and achievements we have registered, and for the moments we have shared in happiness and in grief, for it has not always been laughter, like when we have lost so many in battles. We have shared a lot, but we have served Uganda, and I'm sure Uganda will prosper. Thank you, and may God protect everyone, for God and my country. From, he, he cannot retire his experience. Continue to use it even where you are going because it's a lot. Your Excellency, this general officer's retirement is there for a golden gesture from the institution, from their accomplished military career to release them when they still have some energy, when they are still somehow energetic to cautiously explore life's other prospects. There was one man called Lee M. Brewer said, retirement is a thriving new beginning. It's a time for amazing growth. It's a time for them to connect to their social capital contributions. And it is equally amazing. It has equally amazing possibilities. So, general officers retiring today, please don't just retire from the UPDF, have something to retire to, so that you can keep mentally alert, physically fit, and then of course become productive. From here, our retirees therefore carry a badge of our true revolutionary spirit. They have been part of a history of success in every mission that Your Excellency has led. Their service to our country has always been manifested through a shared understanding of their professional identity, revolutionary focus, 
and that's the reason. They have estimated about seven days from today, Wednesday, to next Wednesday. Money was released to Minister of Defense yesterday. So all the retiring officers, general officers, will receive money. Now the paperwork is what is going to has already started today as Director of Veteran Affairs and other team. They were doing it today. So anything from Friday, but to be specific, Wednesday, if you see the weather has changed, hailstorms <laughs> and the thunder raining in unprecedented measure, Please don't be shocked. <laughs> and uh, this would be in recognition of your strategic sacrifices you made for this country. And uh, we want to thank you for the sacrifices. Some of you will know the stories. Some of you may not, dis not know the stories. But you, you made us proud in this country, Uganda. You've made Uganda proud based on your sacrifices. And I'm not a singer, but I'm tempted to think that uh, Geno Sejusa wanted a song to be played, that this is the day the Lord has made. This has to be with God. What could you have paid to God to be alive up to today? Just remember, walk on the memory lane. Walk through the memory lane, the battles, the bullets you survived, the traps laid in front of you. What could have been that special that made you survive if it was not God? And uh, there's a gospel singer recently said, Your Excellency Resistance Officer Number 00031, General David Sejusa, was born on the 13th November of 1954, late Canon Simon P. Wajojo and Mrs. Tabisa Vujangara Wajojo of Kaibona, Nyambirizi, Maogla, Sembabule District. He attended law school and was awarded a bachelor's degree of laws, a master of laws degree from Macquarie University, and did a postgraduate bar course, which he left after clerkship. He also pursued a certificate in information and computer technology of Berkshire Corporation Canada. General David Sejisa was enlisted into the Army on 10 February 1980 commissioned on 30th December 1980, and has served through ranks to full general. He has undergone several military training courses that include, but not limited, to the following. Is none other than resistance officer number 00087, Lieutenant General John Mugume. Lieutenant General John Mugume was born on 13th of February 1958 to late Mr. James Kamshana and Mrs. Zelda Kamshana of Ntungamo District. He attended several schools before joining Macquarie University for a diploma in social studies. He enlisted into the Army on 1st January 1978, commissioned on 1st August 1985, and has served through the ranks to Lieutenant General. He has 